Hey guys, it's Avon with Tube Review. Welcome to the third episode of 5 Minute Tips with Stardew Valley. So for this episode, we're going to be focusing on two tips. We're going to be exploring why we should unlock the secret woods and unlocking the tide pools. So without further ado, let's start the video. The secret woods. All right, guys. So the Seeker Woods is located in the Cedar Pine Forest, just like where we found the spring onions, but in a different location. So at the very top of where the Wizard Tower is located, there's gonna be entrance hidden by a large log. So you'll see on this map where the Wizard Tower is, there's a large pine tree at the very top of that. As soon as you get there, you're gonna see this large log. And it's literally called the large log. So in order to take down the large log, we're gonna have to upgrade our ax to the steel ax. So before you can upgrade to the steel ax, you gotta make sure your ax is already a copper ax. If it is not at that level, you have to upgrade it to that level. Once you've done that, you need 5,000 gold and five iron bars. In order to get the iron bars, I would recommend farming them in the mine. Purchasing them is quite hefty. Once you're able to get rid of the large log, make sure that you have your weapon handy. There are a lot of green slimes in this area, and if you don't have it, it does hurt you. So the main thing why we're here is because of Fiddlehead Fern. So this particular item is found mainly in the Secret Woods. However, you can find this also in the Skull Cavern, but this is a lot easier to get to compared to get into the caverns as it takes more time and effort. Now, just remember, Fiddlehead Fern is only available during the summer. If you decide to come here looking for it any other season, you won't be able to find it. You will find other items in this area as well, such as mushrooms. Those are also needed in the community building. Um, the main ones that you will see are the red mushrooms and the morale mushrooms. I have yet to find a chanterelle, but they are supposedly common in this area as well. So just keep an eye out and maybe you'll find that mushroom. The next thing that we are going to talk about is this pond right here. This pond holds a fish called the wood skip. It is only found in this pond. So make sure that you have your fishing pole handy so that way you're able to grab that fish. So the great thing about the wood skip is it's available through all four seasons. You're able to get it at any time of the day. There's not a time limit, so that's the best part. So just in case you forget your fishing pole, you can always come back to get it. Um, the other fishes that are within this pond are the catfish and the carp. The catfish, it is used in the community bundles as well. So just in case you do miss getting the catfish during the fall, in the spring, you can come here during the summer and actually fish for the catfish. With you unlocking the secret woods, it gives you an additional season for you to fish for the catfish, which is always great because sometimes you forget like, hey, when is this fish available during what season? The nice thing about this, is it gives you that extra perk. So that way, hey, at least you know that you have a backup plan in case you're not able to get the catfish. Now, as we move along, we're gonna get to the next tip we're gonna be talking about how to open up those tide pools. The tide pools. So why should we unlock the tide pools? My reason for unlocking the tide pools is because of the forging items that you find within that area. But before we can get to the area, we need to make sure that we have 300 pieces of wood. If we don't have 300 pieces of wood, we can't get to the tide pools. Now, once you get here, you're gonna see an abundance of coral and other forgeable items such as sea urchin and clams. Now, you wanna keep the coral so you're able to craft the warp totem. This transfers you from wherever location you're at to the beach. You also wanna keep the coral because it is a neutral item. This is great for gifting. There are only two villagers that hate the coral, which is Evelyn and Harvey. So whenever you gift this to somebody, you gain 20 heart points from that. And the other thing for unlocking the tide pools is the old mariner. So if you're planning on getting married, you need to make sure you visit him in order to obtain the mermaid's pendant. So this is the item you'll give to your significant other to propose to in game. He is only available to give this item to you during a rainy weather 
and before 7 p.m. So make sure you are there during those two times. All right, guys. So this concludes our five minute tips for Stardew Valley episode three. Thank you so much for joining me on this. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Also, if there are any things that I need to improve on, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great one.